I thank the uh, gentleman uh, from New Jersey for uh, yielding and uh, appreciate his uh, efforts to, to bring this attention, uh, this uh, particular matter to uh, the attention of the American people and also want to uh, uh, thank the gentleman from Maryland, um, Mr. Harris, who just spoke so eloquently and uh, factually and uh, knowledgeably about uh, this particular issue as a doctor. And, uh, and my heart is torn um, as I stand here um, on the floor here in the uh, U.S. House of Representatives as we're discussing a matter that's happened right here in our own country. And um, I uh, uh, tell the, the gentleman from New Jersey that I was just meeting with a doctor uh, in my office just a, a couple of hours, within the last couple of hours, uh, who uh, worked in one of the neonatal clinics um, in, uh, in northeastern Indiana. And the, the work and the technology, the ability um, and the effort that uh, doctors uh, in a neonatal facility go through to save the life um, of, of a, a baby that is wanted is, is amazing and is um, uh, heart touching. And to, uh, to then come to, to this particular matter and to um, hear the, the uh, details of this tragic um, location in Philadelphia that was performing abortions like this is just uh, heart wrenching. And, um, and Mr. Speaker, I you know, would just share with, with uh, this body that you know, certain places um, are permanent reminders um, that evil men uh, will do evil things, uh, whether it's in uh, Auschwitz's ovens, uh, Cambodia's killing fields, and now a run brick building on the corner of 38th and Lancaster in West Philadelphia. In that building, crawling with animals, uh, reeking with urine, and filled with blood-stained furniture, Kermit Gosnell was running a slaughterhouse. And on a regular basis, he used a pair of scissors to se sever the spinal cords of helpless babies who were born alive during illegal late-term abortions. The loss of these lives should scar the conscience of civilized people everywhere. This is not a discussion about abstract concepts like choice, we are talking about brutal deaths of newborn children. Mr. Speaker, Kermit Gosnell is a predator who must be publicly exposed and openly denounced. And that's why I come to the floor that to bring attention to this case, that the American people are informed of it, aware of it, and realizing the acts that are happening within our own country. I have no doubt that in this life or the next, he will be held accountable for his crimes. However, right in here and right now, we ought to take a serious look at our culture's careless disregard of this story in particular and innocent life in general. How is it that in our age of constant news, not a single major news outlet, not a single major news outlet, has devoted serious attention to the atrocities that weren't committed halfway around the world, but in West Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Has our national conscience been irreversibly seared by the deaths of more than 1.2 million unborn children every year in this country? I believe this is something that the media should be talking about. They talk about so many other issues that affect our country, and rightly so. But I believe this is one of those that should be discussed and reported on by the media. I've only seen a brief um, report on this within the last week. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm confident that one day the era of abortion on demand will close and we will restore a lasting respect for life. But however, until that day comes, each of us must take up the cause of those who cannot speak for themselves. I thank Congressman Smith for his unwavering commitment and his leadership and his efforts to protect life and especially to bring this particular matter to the attention of the American people so that we as a country will stand up and do the right thing for those who cannot speak for themselves. With that, I'll yield back to the gentleman. I thank uh, Mr. Stutzman for that very extraordinarily eloquent speech, bringing 